Hi, I'm India Otto, and this is 1v1 with Just Women Sports. Today, I'm joined by USC guard and my teammate, Juju Watkins. What's up, bro? Thanks for, uh, for doing this. Of course. Okay, your college journey is just beginning, but so far, what has been the most memorable moment for you at SC? Memorable moment? Um, every day is a memory, honestly. Just constantly building new ones and uh, great season so far. I would definitely say my favorite moment Probably UCLA, when we beat them here, that was tough. That was my favorite moment, and your yeah. 51 points. <laughs> that, was, that was solid, that, that was, was cool. Those are my top two, those are my top two. <laughs> so you have a very even keel disposition, both on and off the court. Thank you. Um, where did that like develop from? Like where do you have that ability to just stay so balanced? Like where did that come from? I don't know, I think it's just my spirit. Like I'm just yeah. very like, Mellow to him. Is that what you say? Mellow yeah, it's mellow. Yeah. Yeah, very mellow. Um, so I guess it just comes with who I am and just always uh, looking forward while also just staying present. That's awesome. Um, so a lot of incredible things come with success, obviously, but it's not without its perils, notably pressure to perform, negativity from critics, um, as well as tremendous social media attention, both good and bad. Mm -hmm. Um, how have you handled all of that and what is your advice to younger athletes who have to deal with that or have to deal with that in the future? It's definitely a lot, just balancing everything. I feel like social media though, like, I feel like that's the most unnecessary out of all of them. Cause it's just like, you can't control it. Like trolls are gonna be trolls. So people are always gonna have something to say. So I think just taking that mindset, like you can't do, like you can't be perfect and everybody's always gonna have an opinion on something. Um, but as far as, I guess pressure sometimes. I definitely feel it sometimes, just like being like counted on or like uh, relied on a lot. It's it's amazing, it's a blessing for sure, but it also can be um, a little anxiety provoking. But uh, honestly, just always just, I would say just take a step back and just realize how growth, grateful you are to be around so many great people and be in an environment where you're able to have an impact on others. others. And I just, I don't take that for granted any day. So just always being in constant awe of like how far I've come. Oops. How would you define your current purpose? Purpose? Yeah. Um, I don't, you're deep, bro. What are you doing? <laughs> You, have you don't seen a music video when Beyonce's like, wow, that's a good question. Yeah. <laughs> I can ask um, a different one if you want me to. No, nah, my purpose, I, I feel like that's a constant search of like what your purpose is. I would say like personally, I think I've always wanted to just have an impact on others and inspire others to just have no limits and just be themselves. And um, so yeah, I would say that. It's a great That's my answer. long term. It's a great answer. Inspiration for sure. You're doing that. This will be your first March Madness NCAA tournament experience. How do you feel? Do you have any expectations going into it? I mean, expectation is always to win. Um, I know that it, it gets tougher with back-to-back -back games, less of a scout plan and stuff like that. But it's it's a thrill, honestly. I'm I'm living for it. Um, so. We'll see how it goes, but I'm just excited that we were able to be in that space and uh, have such a big impact our first year. It's crazy. No, it's, it's going to be a movie for sure. Um, it's been a long time since both UCLA and USC have been in the top 10 together. What does this say about the state of basketball in LA? LA is just booming right now. And I think that honestly, it's not, we're still not getting the attention we deserve yeah. compared to some other um, divisions and stuff like that but the Pac-12 and LA basketball is just um, it's amazing and I'm just glad that I'm be able to be a part of that and feel the atmosphere every night. If you could build a perfect basketball player what skill sets and attributes would you take from for example like Kyrie's ball handling, Steph shooting, yeah. who's your perfect player? Like you just said Steph shooting, okay. Kyrie ball handling and like Luca Pace. Okay. I like that. Okay. So yeah, I like that. Um, okay, if you could take away or add a rule to the game of basketball, what would it be? Take away charges. Yeah, charges. That's probably the only thing charges I would away. could be. I wouldn't really add anything. I feel like it would be too complicated yeah. if you added more charges. Charges are nice to like, nice to take, but like awful like when you're on offense. Yeah. All right, game-winning shot or game-winning block. Shot. 
done. I shot, I'm pretty sure. Um, okay, let's step away from the court for a second. I know you love fashion and have a great sense of style. Thank you, bro. If you could collaborate with any designer, who would it be? Who are your top designers? Top designer? I love Rick Owens. Um, Alexander Wayne, yeah. big fan. Cool. And Nike. Nike, obviously. <laughs> Shout out Nike. Who's your style icon? Style Shay. Shay. Is it Shay or Shy? I think it's Shay. I think Shay? It's Shay. I think Shay? Shay. Yeah. yeah, Shay is tough. That's a good one. Yeah. He's changing the the fashion game in the NBA. Yeah, he goes crazy. Who's your dream Coachella headliner? Frank Ocean, even though he did it, but he should come back. Yeah. He should come back. If he could bring anybody out, who would you want to see him bring out? Beyonce. That would be That's killer. Tough. We need to make that happen. Those Coachella. tickets prices? Oh my God, it would be Insane. crazy. Okay, if you could have dinner with three people, dead or alive, who would you choose? Drake. Okay. Um, Bob Marley. Mm. Probably Beyonce, I guess. That's a good, that's a good group right there. Yeah. Okay, what is the best advice you've ever received? Best advice, definitely, to whom much is given, much is required. I think that's mm. very deep. That's powerful, that's powerful. So we're gonna end with some rapid fire questions. Okay, first one, who's the worst DJ on the team? Based on people's Spotify wrapped, uh -huh. I'm gonna say. Who you're not giving ox to? Probably, I don't know, probably Dom. I don't know. Okay, okay. I'll say Dom. All okay. right. But honestly, I don't really know what she plays, but Spotify wrapped, I was like, okay, okay maybe I wouldn't maybe listen Dom. to that. What's your strangest pregame ritual, if you have one? A strangest? I like slap myself in the face sometimes. I notice that. Yeah. Okay. Um, favorite pair of basketball shoes? Kobe's. Which WNBA player would you compare your game to? Candace Parker. If you could steal another teammate's shoe collection, whose would you steal? Yours. Let's go. Your Kobe's go crazy, Let's bro. go. What would you define as a successful tournament run? I would say a Final Four. I feel like we have the power to do it. We have the right pieces, so just keep working, and I think we could get there. Let's do it. Let's make some noise. Let's do it. Thanks for watching 1v1 with India Otto and Gigi Watkins. Fight on. Fight on.